hey thank you very much for watching this video this is a tutorial for olive video editor so let's jump straight to it let's quickly add some music so i have some music over here let me find it so this is a like a project of a, another video that I was making. You might have seen it already on my channel. Okay, so let me show you how to add music. This is a music track that I downloaded. Let me play that for you. So that's the song. I can just import it as any kind of clip. Just import it over here. Remember that I can also right click import or double click and import right away. That's how we can add music. And the first thing that of course we want to use with our music is we most likely want to have a voice, your voice, and then the music sounding below it. So of course each clip has uh, audio of its own and we want let's say that we want to uh, have music as background so I can just take the music we can drag it around but if we drag it down here we will be able to create different layers so I can have one layer for my music and one layer for all other kind of sounds. But if we play at the same time, remember that my clips before already had music. So you'll hear uh, two songs at the same time. And of course that will sound quite horrible. So okay, that, that sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like garbage. Let me show you. The first uh, audio trick, the first audio trick, sometimes you want to get rid of the audio of a clip. So you will most likely think, oh, I can just select the audio and just hit delete. Uh, no, because that will delete the, the audio and the video. Let's undo that. And why is that? Because, you know, the video and the audio are linked. If I move the video, that moves the audio. If I move the audio, that moves the video. If I cut the video, that cuts the audio. So I want to have the uh, this two clips be unlinked. I want to unlink them. How can we do that? Just select the linked clips, right click, hit link on link and now you can move the video and the audio will stay as an independent track one thing to notice is that when you select a clip since they are linked that means that you're also selecting the other clip so that means that when you actually link or unlink them, you are still selecting both clips. How can you tell if both clips are selected? Because before they were purple like this and now they are kind of black, a more dark tone of purple. That means that they're both selected. So if you just move them, they will still move together. Why will they still move together? Because you're selecting them both. So after you unlink something, just click away. Click away will unselect both clips. And now that you clicked away, you can click back on one clip and move them on their own. And let's notice this thing. So the clips which are linked, the name of the clip is underlined and the name of the clip on their own are not underlined. That's how you can tell if a clip is linked or unlinked. So this one is unlinked. 
because it has the name on its own. And this one is linked because the name is underlined. Let me just go ahead and undo a bunch of stuff. So now I want to make it so only the song which I imported, the song that I showed you, uh, is playing on the background. So I want to get rid of every other audio source. And remember, I can't just select the audio and remove it. I first need to unlink it. Click away and then delete the audio. And now, now the audio is playing on its own. The background music is playing on its own. And we can go ahead and select a bunch of clips at the same time. And once they are all selected, we can link on link all of them at once. Remember, now that they are unlinked, they are no longer underlined. But since they're all selected, we need to click away and then only select the audio and use our keyboard to remove it. We can go ahead and bring the audio up. And that's how you can like make a montage. Uh, so this video is of course uh, everything audio. You're gonna see a few audio tips. Let me just cut it right here. And remember to make a cut, just select the razor tool. Or if you mouse over the razor tool, you'll see that it says uh, C on the parenthesis. And the pointer tool says V. So if I click on V, that will change me to the pointer tool. And if I click on C, that will change me to the racer tool. And if you see on your keyboard, C and D are uh, right next to each other. So that way you can make cuts and selections real quick. So let me just, I wanna make a cut here. So I click on the C key on my keyboard, make a cut, click on V, make a selection, click on Supreme or Delete. And now I have my clip almost ready. So the next uh, tip for your audio is how can you lower or how you can uh, lower your volume or make a clip sound uh, louder. So you need to select an audio clip. And once you select an audio clip, make sure that you're not looking at a preview. Make sure that you're looking at the effects panel. And once you select an audio clip, you'll see a couple of audio effects. And before, on one of our previous tutorials, we learned that all the numbers which are yellow, we can click, hold and drag to modify the number. So this is the volume uh, knob. And this way we can increase the volume. Let's say that we wanna increase the volume by 10, about 10 decibels. That makes it louder, that makes it louder. We can also decrease the volume by, and we can also double click and, and actually write the number. I can click minus 10 and that would lower it by 10 decibels. And now the audio you can see right here is super quiet or I can just uh, go back to zero. That will make it as it was before. Now it's getting like around here. But if I click on it and not like, I make it 10 decibels. And remember, since I'm choosing a positive number, that means that we are making it uh, sound louder. See, now it's going all the way up. So let's go back to zero. Something else that you will, of course, use all the time. Sometimes you make a change and you decide that the change is not what you're looking for. Let's say that I just change that to like a really like 
absurd amount and this will of course like blow up your ears if you click on play it will sound super 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 loud you will not like it you will most likely um <laughs> like screw your headphones um and uh, and damage your your ears so i'm not gonna click on play so let's say that i want to go back to zero i could click and hold and see if i can make it to zero i might get too far away from it or i can just double click the number and just type the number zero click ok but those are like a bunch of steps if i held down my alt key on my keyboard and i click any number which is a uh, yellow while holding the alt key on my keyboard that will reset it to the default then again if i click on it just like without anything i can write a number but if i click the alt key on my keyboard and click it that will reset the number back to zero so now my my uh my ears are safe and that's how you can increase or decrease the volume by playing with this knob but remember that maybe uh 10 is like the most that you can like increase the volume of something without it actually like hurting your ears. So I wouldn't recommend going above 10. And now another tip for audio. So at the end here, it just ends. That is really strange. We can actually add a transition and what a transition does is that we can make the volume slowly decay until it's completely silent. And there's a tool for that. So here we have our, our pointer tool. And I think this one is our transition tool. Let's select it. Click on the transition tool. And then we will be prompted with a question. What type of transition do we want to make? A cross dissolve? A linear fade, exponential fade, logarithmic fade. So, the in the future there will be more transitions, but the transitions that are on top. Now there's just one. So these transitions are video transitions, and the ones below this thin little line are audio transitions. So let's select the first one, linear fade. And now our mouse has changed shape, uh, changed uh, its shape. And if we mouse over a clip, we can see like the menu is changing. And we can click and hold, and and create a transition. We can make it take four seconds and 19 uh, milliseconds for it to go to a full volume to zero volume or we can make it uh, take 14 seconds to go from full volume to zero volume or we can make it really short we can make it take one second so let me see i think that like three seconds will do the trick and now that added this thing a linear fade so let me go back to the Pointer tool, and let's hear how that sounds. Hey, and that was quite good. Um, so you can add linear transi uh, transitions to your audio, like this. Let's say that at the beginning, it fades in. And at the end, it fades out. There we go. So next uh, video will be quite short. It will be about uh, creating uh, assets of your own, like text and adding shapes and colors. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and happy editing.